Elizabeth Holmes sentenced to more than 11 years in prison for Theranos fraud. A California judge sentenced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes to 11 years and three months in prison for defrauding investors in her now-defunct blood testing startup that was once valued at $9 billion. During the hearing, Holmes cried as she said she was devastated by her failures and would have done many things differently if she had the chance. I have felt deep shame for what people went through because I failed them, she said. Before handing down the sentence, Davila called the case, troubling on so many levels, questioning what motivated Holmes, a brilliant entrepreneur, to misrepresent her company to investors. This is a fraud case where an exciting venture went forward with great expectations only to be dashed by untruths, misrepresentations, plain hubris and lies, he said. Prosecutors said at trial that Holmes misrepresented Theranos technology and finances, including by claiming that its miniaturized blood testing machine was able to run an array of tests from a few drops of blood. Once valued at $9 billion, Theranos Inc. promised to revolutionize how patients receive diagnoses by replacing traditional labs with small machines envisioned for use in homes, drugstores and even on the battlefield. Forbes dubbed Holmes the world's youngest female self-made billionaire in 2014, when she was 30 and her stake in Theranos was worth $4.5 billion. But the startup collapsed after a series of articles in the Wall Street Journal in 2015 questioned its technology.